Greetings to our wonderful customers. Here's what's new in Axosoft version 15.3.2. We have updated your burndown chart to accommodate scope change in a few major ways. First, if you add work to an existing sprint or release, that work will be added not only to today's burndown bar, but as a series to all the days prior. Similarly, if you remove scope from your release, then you have the option to view work that was removed and have that reflected in your burndown. If you log a work log and determine that something will take longer than expected, your update will show up here as a series in your burndown chart. This applies to any re-estimations you make to active items assigned to your sprint or release. These changes make it so that your velocity is based on the work logs your team enters and is unchanged when you are adding or removing scope. If you remove items that were worked on during the sprint, then the burndown chart will introduce yet another series that will show you the work that was performed for items that were later removed. This is helpful because it highlights time that was wasted by working on items that won't be shipping with this sprint or release. We have also updated the projected ship date gadget to display as a speedometer, which visualizes how fast your team is working. The projected ship date is included as well, just like before. Next, we updated the release planner so that it uses the remaining estimate of an item when you're assigning an item to a release. This should allow you to plan your upcoming sprints more easily and accurately since it takes into account work that has already been done. You can now attach documents to the wiki and other large text fields. When you are in the editor, click on the paperclip icon to attach a document. Once attached, the document will display as a link that will download the file when clicked. Item filters can now be toggled on and off. Use this to easily work out of your All Items tab if you need to switch over to a different context without needing to change the selection of the Organize panel. We have also made a number of smaller updates as well, which include an increased page limit of up to 500 items. Search results will now gray out any non-matching parent or sub-items and we have included a number of performance improvements for getting and updating items. That about covers what's new in Axosoft version 15.3.2. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and don't forget to be awesome.